everybody, Dr. Leo Krawitz again. I've got a good one today. I've got a wart on the bottom of someone's heel. This is gonna be good because it's kind of big. Um, this person's had it for several months and these hurt badly. So I've already put a little bit of numbing medication in his foot. Um, I'm gonna put a little bit more now just so I can show you how I numb it. So you're gonna wonder why I'm not spraying it or anything, but normally I would spray it with a little bit of ethyl chloride. Um, this is the ethyl chloride that we use. I spray it and then I inject it from the bottom, but we won't need to because he's already numb. Um, but I wanna show you how I inject it. Um, this has epinephrine in it. Epinephrine makes the blood vessels close up so there's not as much bleeding. Warts tend to be really vascular, which means there's a lot of blood flow to them. And when you look at a wart, a lot of times you see little black dots and that's the little capillaries where they end into the skin. Um, those are little blood clots in the end of the capillaries and that's what those little black dots are. People always say, oh, it has a bunch of seeds in them. Those aren't seeds, those are little blood clots in the capillaries themselves. This, you don't really see that, but um, some warts you do. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I do the shot. And when I do the shot, I usually go right under it um, because the, the nerves run this way. Um, and I try to raise a wheel. A wheel is, a, is basically like a lump um, or a bump of local anesthetic, and that's what I'm doing right now. And with epinephrine, you can actually see it working because um, epinephrine makes everything turn white. If you look real closely, I'm gonna point with the needle. You see these white lines? That's the epinephrine going up into the lymphatic system and his body getting rid of it. Um, but you can see that it, it's causing everything to constrict. Um, and that's how you know that the medicine's working. He couldn't feel that at all. You couldn't feel that up there, could you? No. Okay, good. So now for the fun part, a couple things I wanna show you. And I'm gonna take the blade out of here. I'm gonna just show you, usually there's callus over a ward. And I'm gonna do this just for the effect to show you what it looks like. This is the callus coming off. And this is how we can see that it's a ward. I'm actually taking all this dead skin off of here. And you can see how much extra skin there is around it and over it. And what I'm doing is basically clearing off the area so I can see the demarcation of the viral particles. And look, this is actually, I know for a lot of you fans out there that like to watch our videos, it's very satisfying for you to watch callus come off of someone's foot. Um, but which is really interesting with this um, is that you can actually see the demarcation of the viral particles. And you see there's like a circle around and all of that inside are viral particles. And all those viral particles are living just in the skin down to what's called the dermal layer. Um, the, the skin has five layers to it, and the, the virus itself starts to replicate in the bottom two layers. Um, and um, then the body forms a callus over it because it's as if something were caught in the skin itself, like a rock or a foreign body. The body reacts and lays callus over it, and you can see how much callus there is, and there's quite a bit. So now what I'm gonna do is cut the wart out. I can actually see what I'm doing here. I've got a good view of it. And I'm gonna cut actually right around that circle. It's, it's almost as if it's, it's marked itself off. And what I do is I know this by feel. So I'm going by feel and I'm going a certain depth. I'm probably going about maybe five millimeters deep here. I can feel that I'm down close to the dermis and if you look at your screen, you can see it's not totally even, but I'm going around this um, a margin. I'm leaving about two, three millimeters of what looks like good tissue. Um, and the reason I'm doing that is I want to make sure I get all this virus because all it takes is one or two viral particles to start replicating again. Normally, though, when it comes out, when I get all this out, the body sees there's been trauma there, something's wrong, and it fights off the rest of those viral particles. I'm getting the majority of it, you know, 98% of this stuff out, I'm just guessing, but a high percentage of this out, and the body's gonna kill the rest of it um, with the immune system. So you can see right now, as I do this, I'm actually angling more at a 45 degree angle, and you can see as I angle, I'm getting a big chunk here 
um, that's going to come out as one piece. And you can see how this is already coming out there. I'm going to do this but again. I can do this by feel. I can actually close my eyes. I'm not going to, but I can feel the bottom layer. I can feel the dermis just with this nipper, which is kind of cool. And then I can actually just pull this out, this, this whole chunk right here. And you can see how it's attached there. And then from the side, what it looks like, it almost looks like there's an umbilical cord there. Like he's having a, a, a baby ward or some aliens popping out of his foot attached by a, a cord. Um, but really what that is, that's just the, the warty tissue and some of this is the dermal tissue. Actually, now I'm seeing that layer right there. That's a little bit of fat there. And that's a little bit further than I would want to go. But sometimes when you're cutting through, you can't help it. It just kind of pulls because it, it, it's a mess right there at the dermal sub-Q layer. They call that the sub-Q where you see the fat there. But at least we got the whole thing. Let me let me show you what this looks like when I pick it up again. I want to show you the back side. And that's the back side of that wart right there. That's all viral particles. You can see around the periphery right there that that's good skin, and then that's all virus in the middle. We're going to send this to a pathology lab to confirm that it's a wart. Now what I'm going to do is just basically clean the base. I want to kind of stay away from this area right here where you see a little bit of the fat, because that actually can cause a scar. So what I'm doing here is just scraping a little bit at a time here to make sure that it's it's... Um, that the viral particles are out and it kind of cleans that base. And you can see it's cleaning it as I do this. And we're gonna cauterize the rest. The good thing is silver nitrate will cauterize it and burn that tissue. So he'll have minimal or no scarring, even though you do see some fat. And that's one of the things, like I told you, we're trying to avoid that. We don't want to see fat, but sometimes it's inevitable when, when you have that big of a ward. And you can see, when I clean this, it's pretty good. I've got almost, I've got all of that out, all the all the tissue that I want to get out of there, and you can see how it looks pretty clean. Now what I'm going to do is um, take my silver nitrate sticks, and I'm going to I'm going to cauterize where the fat is, and you'll see it turn a blackish color here, and that's actually cauterizing it. And we know it's cauterizing it from the color and the silver. That's so it doesn't bleed much afterwards. These do bleed quite a bit. This also helps with healing too. It'll form a great, um, real nice granular tissue there afterwards. And the granular tissue um, is really just new tissue that forms, and then it heals, and now you can see it really wants to bleed. I'm gonna put a little bit more here. This is another stick, and that's it. Now it's really starting to bleed here. Okay, good, and that's it. Now we're gonna cover it up. We're gonna add um, some antibiotic ointment. And I'm actually gonna just kind of glob it in there. That's a nice glob there, um, just so it's nice and moist, and we're gonna clean that off. Almost looks like applesauce, but it's not applesauce, and we definitely do not want to eat it. Um, we're going to put a couple two by twos here, and then I'm going to wrap it with some Coban. And this puts compression on it. Um, he can walk on this, and actually, um, our patient is military, so he's probably going to be doing quite a bit of walking. He can do his normal activity, which is totally fine. Um, starting tomorrow, um, but he's going to have soreness. There's a hole in his foot. It's sore, um, but he's not going to hurt anything that I did. He's just going to have to clean all the surfaces, um, but he's walked barefoot um, because the viral particles might be around, and we want to make sure those are gone, um, and he's going to apply antibiotic ointment to that hole as it heals. Two weeks from now, he's going to come in. We're going to clean the hole out again, and um, then we will um, also clean any of the dead tissue out, make sure there's no recurrence, and that'll be it. So we will see him in a couple weeks. The wart's out of there. Oh, I thought that was my phone. Um, and um, he should be real happy because hopefully this isn't gonna come back and hopefully it's not gonna spread to another person.
If you like what you see, subscribe to the channel. We'll have more great videos for you, and we'll see you again soon. Thanks.